Lego battle packs are among the most popular in the Lego Star Wars community, specifically Lego Clone Trooper battle packs. Now, it being the last day of 2023, I want to dive into the ultimate Lego Star Wars Clone Trooper battle packs Lego could release in the new year. Now, let me know down below which one of these is your absolute favorite once you watch it all. Now, let's get right into it. Now, starting with these awesome custom sets from Brick Set It Is on Instagram. Now, with the 20th anniversary of Star Wars The Clone Wars coming up, I have to include this amazing set right here that we've never gotten before in LEGO Star Wars. Now, that is the Underwater Assault Battle Pack. Now, this set includes two clone scuba troopers, which we have never gotten before in LEGO Star Wars. And the overall design of these is such a cool and unique way to design a clone trooper, being kind of a more of an all black and white color scheme, as well as they having the kind of flippers and the long rifles, and as well as their actual like propeller machine that gets them through the water. Now, this is based off of the battle of Mon Calamari that we see underwater. Now the droid forces include these two regular orange battle droids we see from the Battle of Geonosis. Since in the Clone Wars 2003 series, they use the dark orange battle droids specifically for this battle, as well as this little submarine little build here that the Separatists use, which is kind of funny that battle droids are actually driving these. I feel like they could have just made like other droid vehicles, which they do actually include, which are actually in that battle as well. But I thought this was just an absolutely like really unique and an awesome way to like grow a different kind of segment of your Lego Star Wars clone army. Now this next one is a pretty awesome one we'd also never gotten in Lego Star Wars before. Now this is the 327th or Felucia Troopers Battle Pack. Now this comes with four 327th Star Corps clone troopers, which we have never got an updated version of these guys. We got first when our initial like phase two clone troopers, we got this guy in like the OG form in the OG clone battle pack. So this be a great way to bring this guy back in circulation. Now this actually comes with two different variants of them. One variation comes with the comma and the pauldron and the other two don't. I prefer they all have the common pauldron since you do see every single one of those clone troopers in at least Revenge of the Sith have those. But this also comes with a clone swamp speeder, which we'll see later in the video, which is also a cool, unique vehicle that we do see in the Battle of Lucia and also the Battle of Kashyyyk. Again, we'll get to a Battle of Kashyyyk uh, kind of battle pack later, but again, this would be like a perfect way to get your 327th army, which is a clone trooper we haven't been able to get in such a long time. So that's why this one's probably one of my favorite on this list. And the next one here is another clone trooper we've never gotten for in LEGO Star Wars. That is the Galactic Marine. Now this is the Galactic Marines battle pack coming with, again, four regular Galactic Marines being a true battle pack in itself. Now these are basically just kind of a rune snow troopers if you think about it, but I just think they're like 10 times cooler and definitely something we need for like my Megiddo Mox. If there's ever a battle pack that comes like this with the like actual Galactic Marines, so you can bet you you're gonna see like so many Magito mocks, but that's kind of what's stopping that right now is the lack of actual Galactic Marines. But for this particular custom set, it comes with a E-Web and also a Bark Speeder. But for this, I think you could include whatever, since you don't really see any kind of smaller Republic vehicles or anything on the bridge scene that we do see from Order 66. So I like that. But here's the Galactic Marines battle pack, something again that Lego has not made before and truly would be a something that would be too little too similar to what we have right now honestly with the snow true battle pack so maybe in the next couple years we get this one or even next year not in 2023 but i would absolutely love this set so much now our next set in the ultimate lego clone battle pack list is our is our 212th clone troopers battle pack now this one might be a little controversial because this is having the new variant of clone troopers that some people really do not like, some people love with the 212th, but I have to say I am a mixed bag with the actual newer design of the phase two clone troopers. I know people really like them, but uh, they're kind of iffy for me, but I will still collect them. I still think they are a nice nonetheless, but this one actually comes with three different versions of them. One actually has an antenna. It's not Commander Cody or anything like that, or has like a little visor. It is a, just kind of a commander or like, I guess, officer version, or maybe you can say a heavy trooper version since we are getting that uh, file for specialist or regular file for like clone trooper battle pack coming in like very soon, like in January. So that's very exciting. But this one also comes with an airborne trooper. So, so this would be kind of a way to not have to buy so many ADTEs to master 212th clone trooper army, as well as a Lego Star Wars crab droid since Lego fumbled the bag and put a spider droid in the ATTE. Not complaining myself too much because, you know, it's whatever, but I feel like Lego finally needs to release some kind of crab droid build, give a little re representation for the battle of Utapau. Now these next three custom steps actually come from me. 
I made these myself and I used the kind of the template of what Brickside Ideas did and just kind of made a different var variants of these clone trooper battle packs. Now these first two actually come from the Battle of Geonosis. Now here we have the Battle of Geonosis kind of Geonosis trooper battle pack from the actual second uh, assault on Geonosis. Now this comes with two different Geonosis ARF troopers, which are something we, it's an absolute must in LEGO Star Wars and we need immediately, as well as the Flame Trooper and a regular Phase 1 Clone Trooper on a Bark Speeder. Now this is just an absolute must. Now I did this video probably like two weeks ago about the ultimate like Geonosis, the second battle Geonosis, and now I included this in there. And this set is just something I would truly adore and would get me so stoked to make another Geonosis mock. With a Clone Trooper that LEGO's already made, basically with the ARF Trooper. I feel like they just slap on like the orange camo and just give it to us. And I think that would be just an A plus Lego clone trooper battle pack. That'd be one of the best of all time. Now our next battle pack here actually is from the episode two attack of the clones, the first battle Genosis. Now this is just like a pure battle pack in itself. Something I would personally love the most is just getting your four basic regular phase one clone troopers to really mash your clone army. And of course, this also comes with a bark spitter because you know, I really didn't want an ATRT since we don't see ATRTs in the Battle Genosis, but you do see them using bark speeders in like some of the reference material. But again, this would just be the perfect way to actually amass your clone army with the regular kind of newest uh, realistic style of the phase one clone troopers to truly capture the scale of the battle of Geonosis. And for our next one, but probably the coolest battle in Star Wars, at least in my opinion, is the battle of Kashyyyk battle pack or the Kashyyyk troopers battle pack. Now, again, I like my battle packs to be purely for battle pack army building. Now this comes with four different Kashyyyk 4 Force Elite Scout Troopers. So we see the Swamp Speeders used heavily in the Battle of Kachiro that we see in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So this would make you be able to kind of amass this clone army that is so expensive at the moment. To get those clone troopers is just a pain and would allow everyone to finally get a true massive scale for Kashyyyk with all your clone troopers in the trees, on the beaches, everything. I just believe this would probably be like my personal favorite set out of all the ultimate LEGO Star Wars clone trooper battle packs. So yeah guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Let me know down below what you thought about these ultimate Lego clone trooper battle packs and would you buy any of these and uh, are you looking forward to like maybe seeing something like a clone trooper battle pack even more of in 2023 again I'm gonna have so many awesome stuff coming to the channel that's gonna be brand new and I just I just really can't wait to get into it guys but hope you have a great day peace out guys